finding the slope of a line on the coordinate plane. So the first thing we want to understand is that slope, there's many ways to say it. And um, the best way that I like to think of it is the rate of change. Rate is, is how something is changing or the speed, if you want to think of it that way. We're going to look at how lines are behaving. So here's the line. So the first thing I like to do is just look at it generally and ask myself, is it increasing or decreasing? And if you read it from left to right, it is an increasing line. Okay, so we know, we know that this line, the slope should be positive, the rate of change or how it changes in the positive direction. So what I'm looking at is how do I find that answer? How do I find the slope? So the first thing I want to do is draw on a slope triangle. Pick any two any two points on the line, pick some ones that you can use. You can see A and B are real nice, and draw on a triangle, or a right triangle. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go from left to right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count how it changes horizontally or in the x direction and how it vertically and how it changes in the y direction. So if I'm gonna count the spaces, not the intersection points. So one, two, three, four, and five. So we go five that way. This one is one, two. Right. So now I know it goes five to the right and then up two. So the definition of slope is the change in y over the change in x. The, this is a delta symbol, which in mathematics means change or how it changes. So you're basically dividing the, the, the vertical change over the horizontal change. So what I got to do is get these values into the fraction. So the up or down is the y change. And the delta x is the x change, how much it goes left to right. So I do the, the y change over the x change. And then that is 2 over 5. All right, next one. So just looking at it in general, this is going to be a decreasing line. So the slope will be negative. The rate of change will be negative. So first thing first, draw on a slope triangle. And like I said, I'm going to start, and i got to follow the triangle. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3. Well, down 3 means the change is negative 3. I'm going to go 1, 2 to the right. So that's a positive change because down and left directions are negative. So now I got to set up my triangle, or, um, my fractions, right? And what I'm going to do is, okay, so the change in y, that's how much it goes up or down. And this thing goes down three, so that goes on top. And the horizontal change goes in the bottom, or the denominator in the fraction. Right. Now, one thing you notice that when you have the negatives, it doesn't matter if the negative's in the top or the bottom, but I just went ahead and put it in the front to realize the overall slope is negative three over two. Um, let's look at this thing and ask ourselves, is it increasing or decreasing? And from left to right, it is increasing. So I'm going to put in my slope triangle in there. And then I'm going to count from left to right. So 1, 2, 3, and 4 to the right. And then just 1 going up. So remember the, the vertical change. So delta y's it goes on the, the numerator. And the horizontal change goes in the denominator. We get one over four. All right. So looking at this one from left to right, it is decreasing. So when I'm all done, my rate of change or slope will be a negative value. Draw my slope triangle. Starting from, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five going down. So that's a negative five. And then one, two, three, four to the right. Set up my ratio. And it's the up or down, the vertical change over the horizontal change, the x stuff. And once again, this is negative, so I just wouldn't put the negative in the front. If you put negative 5 over 4, you're still correct. All right, so let's look at a little different situation here. What happens if you pick multiple points, which a lot of people tend to do? So what I'm saying is, so here's this, I got a bigger diagram here. I got point A and point B. Well, what I'm also going to do is pick a couple other points that land on the line. and we're going to find the slope from different points. So let's start with from points A to B. I'm going to draw on a slope triangle. If I count that out, it's 10 to the right and 5 up. So the slope from points A to B is 5 over 10. Then I'm going to find the slope from points A to C, right, which is 6 and 3. So that's going to be 3 over 6. All right, so I had a bigger triangle, kind of a medium triangle. Then I'm going to pick it from points A to D, and that's just two to the right and up one. So if I find the ratio for that, 
it's one over two. So which one of these is correct? What is the actual slope of this line? Well, a line can only have one slope. If you use different slope triangles, they will all reduce to the same fraction, as long as they're on the same line. So, so the big triangle, we figured out the slope is five over 10. Well, that fraction simplifies or reduces to one half or one over two. The medium triangle, when we found the slope, we got three over six, and this also will reduce or simplify to one over two. And then the smallest triangle that we had, it was just one over two. And you'll notice the slope of the line is a half, one over two, because they all reduce to the same value, because every line only has one slope. No matter how you calculate it, it actually only has one slope.